Welcome to week 7 of the Dinsman program. We hope you are now an expert on the Dinsman traffic lights. You should know that the red light foods spike insulin so you don't want to have them. The yellow light foods may spike insulin so you may only have one serving. And the green light foods lower insulin so you may have as much as you like anytime you like. Our goal for you is to understand the science behind cheating. We know that science may not be everyone's favorite subject, but don't worry. That's why we simplified the science for you. Knowing is one thing, but practicing is another. According to clinical research on our patients, only 20 to 25 percent on average followed the program correctly and had great results. The most important thing when following the program correctly is not to cheat, which means not eating any red light foods in the past six weeks. There are three main points about Thinsulin that you need to know. Number one, that is, when insulin rises, your body will store fat, and when insulin lowers, your body will burn fat. If you don't eat red light foods, your insulin will drop. How? Because when you consume sugar or carbohydrates, your pancreas has to work all the time to generate insulin, which raises the insulin level. If you don't consume sugar and red light foods, your pancreas won't have to produce as much insulin. The insulin level will slowly lower to a threshold where your body will be able to burn fat. Number two, when you don't consume sugar and red light foods, sometimes it takes up to three weeks for your insulin level to be low enough for the body to start burning fat. In these weeks, you are only losing water and not fat. The body starts burning fat when the level is low enough. Number three, which is very important, is that while insulin is decreasing, if you cheat by eating red light foods like sweets, or grains, even one bite of that will cause your insulin level to rise. You may spend three weeks trying to lower your insulin level, but it only takes two hours after you cheat to, for it to climb up again. So please keep in mind that it takes more than three weeks to lower your insulin level. All your efforts will be wasted if you cheat. To summarize, the most important thing to follow Thinsulin is not to cheat, not even once, because in some cases your insulin can rise. So how do you prevent yourself from cheating? There are two methods. The first method is to avoid the word dieting. If anyone asks you why you are losing weight, tell them that you're on Thinsulin. Absolutely do not use the word diet. It would trigger your brain to think that you are dieting and lead you to cheat one day. Dieting is that vicious cycle of punishment by starving yourself and then rewarding yourself by cheating, followed by guilt because you overate and then you have to punish yourself again. To completely remove the dieting mindset, you need to avoid using the word dieting in the first place. The second method is to explain and help at least three other people in your family or friends to understand the three fundamental uh, points of insulin that we just have discussed. When you understand that cheating would not increase insulin, you may have not practiced it yet, but when you explain and persuade others not to cheat, you will not cheat either because you're held more accountable to your actions. If you follow Thinsulin without cheating, you can expect to lose a maximum of 1.5 to 2 kilograms in the first week, 5% at the end of your first month, 10% of your total weight at the end of your second month, 15 by the end of your third month, and 20% of your total weight by the end of your fourth month. But if you feed, uh, cheat a few times here and there, you may lose a little bit. Or if you cheat too many times, you may not lose as much at all. So it's important not to cheat. Therefore, the next time when you feel like cheating, ask yourself, is this red light food worth increasing your insulin level? If you find it not worth it, then avoid eating it. You should think of Thinsulin as a long but rewarding journey that may be full of hardship and challenges. Sometimes when you have temptations, you hesitate whether you should take a shortcut. Try not to because you may pay a dear price. A journey of life is not always easy, but full of treacherous and so sleazy. And when sometimes you see a shortcut, don't go in there or it will suck. Dinsulin's journey is too the same. It's full of traps and everything to blame. And if you must try to stay on track, and don't wander and fall into cracks because life is full of temptations with one mistake then there there's no redemption remember life is a long journey 
Don't take shortcut or you'll be sorry. Thank you. This was brought to you by Dr. Charles Nguyen and Dr. Tu Song Anwen, authors of the Thin Slim program, a breakthrough solution to help you lose weight and stay thin. Stay tuned for next week.